There are myriads of fonts to choose from in Lightroom Classic to create your watermark from. But did you know that you could actually create it from your own signature? Today in the Lightroom Whisperer, I'm going to show you how to do just that. So let's get right to it. Photoshop Takeover. Before we get started though, did you know that in real life you and I could actually work together to improve your photography? Whether that be remotely from the comfort of your own living room, joining me around the world at any of the amazing destinations that I lead small group workshops, or even creating your own one-on-one -on -one like we're doing here. Light Source Journeys, helping illuminate your photographic journey. For more information, check out the description below. Now let's get to it. To start with, I'm going to go to my Finder on a Mac or on a PC. This will be your Explorer. And I'm going to start with going to my Pictures folder, and in this case, my Lightroom folder. For me, I'm going to be able to find these watermarks easiest in my Lightroom folder. If they're always stored there, then I know I'm using these in Lightroom, and if I'm trying to search for them at any point, I know exactly where they are. So in this Lightroom folder, this is where your catalog lives, and I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call this Custom Watermarks. You may use more than just the one we're about to create now, or this might be the only one, but as long as I've got something now that I can save it to, I have some place I can pull it from when we're ready to put this into Lightroom later on. Now that I've got that folder created, I'm going to use a black marker. I'm going to use like a Sharpie in this case, and I'm going to assign the signature on a white sheet of paper that I want to be used for my watermark. Now I'm going to photograph that signature, and this can be with something like your phone, or it could be with your actual camera that you're using for your photography. As long as it's a high enough resolution that when we load it in there, you've got some room that we can manipulate it later on. So I'm just going to take a picture with my phone here. And get it into my computer. Now that I've got that signature saved in the custom watermarks, I'm going to go and I'm going to open up Photoshop. And I'm going to open up that signature image. Open custom watermarks. Open file. And to be able to use this, I need to get rid of the white sheet of paper in the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the background layer and unlock that. That's going to create it as a layer by itself. And I can either double click on this layer itself, or I can go down to the FX tab down there and click on that. I'm just going to double click. And that brings up my blending options. If I now take my current layer option and drag this white down until that background disappears, and then on a Mac hold down option, on a PC hold down alt, that'll allow you to split this tab and drag it down a little more. This is gonna help refine the edges on that and kind of create a little more content in there. You can see kind of some of the texture of the marker pulling through. And there we go. Now I'm gonna go export this as a PNG file. Export as. And I'm going to make sure to have this set up to transparency so it ends up retaining that transparency of the background. And I have a large enough resolution that if I need it to be big in my photo, it's going to be able to carry that. Don't worry, it'll shrink it if we need a much smaller one later on. And I'm going to say export. Now I want to make sure it's going to my custom watermarks folder that we have saved. As you can see, my signature is the only one that's in there that we took earlier. And I'm going to just name this signature in black. Go ahead and say save. Now I also want to create a white signature though. If I'm putting this in a dark area that black is going to disappear in there. So to do so I'm going to do something similar. I'm just going to take my layer again, double click on there, bring up my blend options and kind of reset this back to where it was. I want to be able to see all those whites because we're going to go and invert this image now. There is a shortcut for this, but in this case, I'm just going to go to the drop down menu to image. I'm going to go to adjustments and then down to invert. Now we've got white for the signature, black for the background, and we're going to come back, double click, bring our blending options and do the exact opposite. Bring up the blacks until that disappears. Now we've got our white signature there. And just like before, coming up a bit. Hold down my option or alt on a PC, drag up a little more, kind of get a little more refinement to that there, and 
That looks pretty good. I'm going to hit OK and do the exact same thing. Export as PNG. We're going to leave the transparency set. I'm going to hit Export. Save this one as Signature in white. Same place, go into my custom watermarks. Don't have to worry about that. It's already saving it there for me. Now I've got those saved. I can go ahead and I can close Photoshop. I don't want to save that image. I don't need to for any reason. That way I have my original signature still saved if I ever need to go back to change anything for any reason. And this is the picture I wanted to export with that signature. Now it is a darker shot. It's taken at night. So I might actually end up using that white one. So I'm going to go to export. I'm going to go down to my watermark. I'm going to tell it that I want to edit my watermarks. And then I'm going to, instead of text for watermark style, choose graphic. When I go to graphic now, I can go to my pictures folder, which contained my custom watermarks folder inside of Lightroom. I can choose that white signature. And we can see it down here in the bottom corner. And, you know, I want it a little bigger. And don't worry about that. We took a pretty decent size of it. And there we go. I'm going to maybe bring that over a little bit, bring it down a little bit. And there's the watermark, my actual signature on that shot. So when I hit save, this new preset, since this is going to now be saved in here, I'm going to call it the exact same thing, signature in white. I'm going to hit create, I'm going to hit export. And now later on, when I'm going to go back and use that same watermark, if I hit export, we're going to see that it's actually saved under those watermarking settings, just like any other watermark you would have created. If you're ready to use that black one, go ahead and load that in the same way, and it'll be remembered there also with those. That's it. It's actually a pretty simple process. And from now on, you can use your custom signature as your watermark in Lightroom Classic. From the Lightroom Whisperer, keep on Lightrooming. Photoshop takeover.